Good morning, Mr. Sungrand. Oh, hi there, Bojo. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. What are you doing there? Me. I'm developing a video game. Wow. I want to make games, too. Well, you can learn. It just takes hard work and effort. By the way, Bojo, could you please hand me my coffee over there? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Sungrand. That'd be difficult for me to do. <laughs> That's okay. Thanks anyway, Bojo. Yeah, logistically, I don't even know if I can pick up an object and hand it to you physically. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not sure how I would do that either. So, can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. There's a game called Borderlands 4, and people have reported on PC it has major performance problems. The longer you play it, the more it gets. That's a real shame. Yeah, can you tell me why that happens? Well, Bojo, video games are complicated. Like friendship or marriage, if you are careless and don't pay attention to how you manage things, they get worse and worse until over time it all eventually comes to a sad ending with a terrible crash. Oh, that's scary. And this brings me to today's letter. Today's show is brought to you by the letter P. P is for pooling. Can you say pooling? Pooling. Pooling. What a fun word. <laughs> for pooling. Yeah. In video games, when we want to show something happening on the screen, we have to use a prop called an object. An object is an abstract construct that is not the actual thing it represents, but merely possesses physical traits that allow people to recognize the abstract object as representing something that does actually exist. Mr. Sungrand, am I an object? Am I an abstract construct? Uh... So... Back to pooling. In video games, we need to show the player something, so we use objects. If we create an explosion, characters, pick up items, graphics, or anything, we use an object. Now, usually after we create an object, we must eventually destroy the object. The process of creating and destroying objects results in some reduction of gameplay performance, meaning the frame rate decreases. Creation and destruction in some cases can also eventually lead to memory leakage, or far worse, memory fragmentation. The more you create and destroy objects, whether those entities be visible in the game or objects in the game code, leakage and fragmentation can build up over time and get worse. This brings us back to today's word, pooling. With object pooling, we create all the objects we need when the game scene is started. Those objects are disabled or hidden from view and are only enabled when they are needed. This prevents memory leakage and memory fragmentation and keeps gameplay flowing nice and smooth. Wow, there's a lot of really cool words in there. Can we learn about all those other words too? Sure we can, Bojo, but we'll have to wait until the letter of the day lands on those words. Oh, okay. Now, alongside those performance issues that can cause a decrease in the frame rate, we can also have an issue called null references. This results in all kinds of major problems for a gameplay session and can cause gameplay performance to really drop. This happens if the game tries to reference an object that is suddenly not there when you expect it to be. Wow! Kind of like trying to reference your wife when she's no longer there when you expect her to be. Yeah, you're right, Bojo. Somewhat. So, what exactly is a null? Well, Bojo, I can show you what null looks like. Null is... Was this video interesting or useful to you? I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see more videos like this, you can help me produce these by supporting me over on Patreon. These kinds of videos take a fair bit of effort and time to make, and I primarily earn my living making video games. I have to step away from my work in order to make these videos, so if you would like to support me and see more content like this on the channel, you can support me over on Patreon. On screen, you'll see a couple of my games available on the Switch eShop, and if you'd like to see some other videos, they'll be on screen now. Take care of yourselves and be well.